On your screen, you can see the STF-12 tactical shotgun created by the Italian experts at FabArm. Among the pros, connoisseurs highlight its outstanding precision thanks to the exclusive Tribor HP bore. Excellent smooth action of the forend thanks to the Ergol 55 alloy inserts and a detachable Picatinny rail of the same length as the gun. The shotgun is available in several versions, with barrel lengths ranging from 11 to 22 inches. The shorter version comes with a pistol grip and no stock. Magazine capacity varies from 3 to 7 pounds. The unloaded weapon weighs 9 pounds. On the underside of the stock is another short Picatinny rail, which can be used for a flashlight. The price is about $1,300. The US company Angstadt Arms undertook an unusual project. They took an AR-15 rifle, called in their colleagues at Keystone Armory, and did a sort of reverse upgrade by converting it into an MDP-9 submachine gun. The result is a gun that is compatible with Glock magazines and 9x19mm ammunition, weighs 3.7 pounds, not including the magazine, and features a patent-pending roller-delayed action. The MDP-9 is only 14 inches long. The resulting submachine gun has been called the smoothest shooting PCC available, and its compact size made it an ideal solution for professional security agencies. In addition, compatibility with AR-15 components has made it much easier to maintain and repair. Pricing starts at $2,700. Continuing our tour of the United States, we have the team at Shadow Systems. The company started with five people and has grown into a contract weapons supplier to the police and military. The experts on this team prefer to do all the work on their own, without help from other companies. This approach paid off. The DR920P 9mm pistol has already been approved by the US National Institute of Justice, allowing it to be sold to law enforcement. The barrel is 4.5 inches long and can be coated with carbon nitride or titanium nitride. The gun includes a muzzle brake, while the frame is made of polymer. The gun weighs 1.3 pounds. Shot grouping at 82 feet is about 0.5 to 0.6 inches, and the price is about $1,100. Pistol bow, cross toll, a real gun or a movie prop? This unusual gun raises a lot of questions, so let's go through them one by one. First of all, this is a real gun. You can buy it for about $380. It's called the Semex Arcus Arrow Star, and it's a pistol crossbow. Secondly, it's fired using CO2 cartridges, and the result is great. Arrow velocity reaches 197 feet per second, and a single cartridge allows for 15 to 20 shots. The optimum range of fire is 33 to 49 feet. The weapon weighs about 2 pounds. The kit includes three carbon arrows. Third, due to the specific laws in some countries, the manufacturers had to come up with several versions. For example, for the German market, they reduced the pressure, and for the Austrian market, they created the 5.9mm caliber. However, all versions look pretty interesting. This is a pistol invented by American expert Robert Hilberg. Connoisseurs may remember him for his Winchester Liberator multi-barreled shotgun. The four-barreled COP357 Derringer is another of his unusual creations. 
This is a new version of the multi-barrel concept proposed by the firearm designer in the 1960s. It was designed as an auxiliary police weapon, so simplicity and high reliability were very important. The pistol uses 357 Magnum ammunition, but is also compatible with 38 Special ammunition. The pistol weighs 1.8 pounds and measures 5.6 inches in length. Each barrel has a separate firing pin and requires sliding a latch that pops up the barrel to reload. The pistol was manufactured but did not become popular with the police, nor in the civilian market, so now it's more of a collector's item. Science fiction fans are probably familiar with this submachine gun from the Stargate TV series. Its creators had a specific task, to create a weapon for tank crews and drivers of combat vehicles. However, the result was a universal submachine gun, which is also used by special forces. To begin with, the weapon has an unusual patented 50-round magazine. It has a unique horizontally mounted feeding system, wherein the box magazine sits parallel to the barrel on top of the weapon's frame and the transparent plastic allows you to quickly assess the number of cartridges. The 57 by 28 mm SS-190 ammunition was specially developed for this weapon. The bullet can penetrate Kevlar armor and has low probability of ricochet, which is key for combating in close space. The weapon is 20 inches long and weighs 6.6 .6 pounds, depending on the version. It was launched in 1990 and is still in production today. It's not only used in Belgium, where it it was created, but also in France, Chile, Singapore, Germany, and other countries. An exotic invention in every sense is the Vector CP1 pistol, developed by the South African company Denel Land Systems. The gun was positioned as a concealed carry weapon, suitable for use by law enforcement. The pistol's quite compact, weighing about 1.6 pounds and just 7 inches long. It was sold with 9x19mm or 9x21mm magazines, loaded with 10, 12 or 13 rounds. The gun was designed to be quite safe, thanks to the sliding safety located at the front of the trigger guard. However, once production began, a major problem arose. If the loaded gun was dropped or bumped, it could accidentally fire. This proved a major blow to promising US sales and the company's reputation, and production was halted in 2001. Now let's talk about coil guns. Fans of video games are likely to remember weapons that use a similar system. The classic version of the gun involves the creation of a magnetic field that accelerates the bullet. In fact, you can create your own version at home, and that's exactly what the author of this video did. He also made a special video about the assembly process and gave detailed information about the internal system of the gun. The author explained that he wanted to make the gun as compact as possible while maintaining its power. Tell us if you think he succeeded. The gun weighs 6 pounds and is 20 inches long. For firing, 8 by 40 mm bullets weighing about 0.5 ounces were chosen. The muzzle energy was estimated at 31 joules and the projectile velocity at 220 feet per second. In addition, it only takes 7.4 seconds to load the gun. Next, we have some experts from Germany. In the 1970s, they built this system known as Operational Briefcase. It was designed as a means of personal protection and for the protection of high-level officials. Inside the briefcase was an MP5 case submachine gun, which could be operated with one hand by means of a modified grip. A leather case version was also introduced. It allowed the user to reach into the side of the case and grasp the weapon's grip. The case with 60 rounds of 9x19mm ammunition weighed 15 pounds. There were two types of magazines for 15 and 30 rounds. The case can still be purchased today.
the most advanced 9mm pistol ever made, claim the manufacturers of this weapon. The main feature is the intelligent internal system that allows the gun to recognize the person holding it and react accordingly. Simply put, if someone takes the gun away from you, they will not be able to fire it. The activation system offers several options. Biometrics, i.e. fingerprint or face identification. A digital handshake. The chip embedded in the gun reads the sensor on a ring bracelet or other accessory, a Bluetooth connection to a smartphone and a mobile app, or a PIN code. Each gun will have one owner that will be able to give other people access to the gun. At the same time, the manufacturers are confident that the reliability of the gun will not be affected by the electronic system. The gun is expected to go on sale later this year. On the screens, we have another weapon for self-defense and police needs. The gun is designed to fire special capsules called pepper balls. Depending on the situation, you can choose Inert, a training version with a harmless powder, SD, a universal solution with a pepper mixture for non-lethal opponent neutralization, or Live X, containing a mixture twice as strong as SD. The mixture is designed so that the capsule can also be fired close to the target, creating a caustic cloud. It's also possible to fire VXR rubber capsules. The maximum firing range is 150 feet, and the weight of the gun is approximately 3.3 pounds. In addition to the gun itself, the kit includes three carbon dioxide cylinders and 10 pepper capsules. Drones are a popular and promising area of application for civilian and military technologies. The concept of drone race, analogous to arms race, is already used in many studies on the subject. Of course, a lot of work is being done in the field of defense technology. For example, this weapon has been created to counter drones. According to the manufacturers, the Drone Gun Mark III is capable of attacking drones at distances of up to 1,640 feet. Specifically, certain frequencies are jammed, after which the drone performs an emergency landing or initiates the return program. The transmission of video data to operators is also interrupted. The weapon weighs about 4.4 pounds, and the operating time on a single charge is about two hours. Everything you need and more. Whether it's for shooting cans in the backyard, competing in local competitions, or traveling to a national tournament, that's how its creators present this small caliber sport pistol. But what's so interesting about it? First of all, as the designers point out, the final configuration is convenient in terms of assembly and disassembly. This allows you to easily make various improvements and customize the gun, as well as to purchase a version with the appropriate components immediately through the website. Secondly, a proprietary LLV competition receiver is used, which makes it lightweight and reliable. For example, the weight of one of the 4.5-inch barrel versions is 1.9 pounds. And third, the standard version includes Picatinny rails and the option to install a proprietary compensator. You can buy it for about $1,300.